Let's get rounded. Well, with Polaroid's new special edition rounded frames. I uh, just got them today. I want to go out and shoot them right away. So uh, let's uh, roll the intro and then let's hit the road after that. You know the type of guy that was a jock in high school but ended up becoming a huge nerd? You know, someone that's not afraid to make a fool of themselves on the internet. And someone that likes to shoot Polaroid a little too much. Did I say huge nerd? You know, just an ordinary, everyday guy. Well, that's me. I'm just another Chris. I forgot my ND filter. That's a bummer. I wanted to come out to a special location. I haven't been out here in a very long time. Right back there. My old high school. <laughs> I'm going to take you down memory lane while shooting some of these photos. I thought that'd be pretty fun. And I'm actually parked out in my old video class. Check it out. Right there. That's where it all began. That's where it all began. Oh, oh, hang on. Mr. Howard's class. Oh, video productions, man. Ooh, let's just walk around the campus. It's obviously closed, pandemic and all that. And it's a Saturday and it's a beautiful day. I want to shoot these round frames. However, there's still some expired Stranger Things film inside my camera. Here's one I shot a little bit earlier. I was shooting some of that yesterday. I have a couple left. So I'll pop those off and then we'll switch over to the round frames. Let's do it. Dude, there's so much nostalgia right here right now. Oh my gosh. This sidewalk right here, I shot a video. Don't forget your ND filters, kids. But this sidewalk, I shot a video. Easy Rider Gang. We had a, we had, what, what did we have? We had a, a trike and like a Razor scooter and some stuff and a bike. <laughs> yeah. I shot a school's out video using that sign but he was coming up up and over and he jumped off this in slow motion there was a bench right there that he jumped onto all in slow motion before peter mckinnon was a thing where it all began this is actually the pottery room i took that class and it was really fun but there's a cool sign over here i actually want to shoot with the round uh frames make some art guys <laughs> It actually looks the same <laughs> as it did. Wow, that's the pottery room. All right, enough reminiscing. Let's shoot some of these last few shots. I think there's only two shots left on this uh, expired Stranger Things pack, and then I'll shoot the round ones. I stand corrected, there's two left in here. I gotta take two more. I got one more shot to take. All right, that was the last one. <laughs> that one came out really bad. <laughs> oh. Can you see me? Probably not. Ugh. How about now? No? Maybe? Nope. Ha! Ah, let's put these round frames in. I love the box. Oh, if you're wondering how I was shooting all those uh, expired Stranger Things film in an SX-70, this is how I'll show you. That's how. Just tape a battery to the bottom of your cartridge and it will fit right in there. Just have to trim it down a little bit. If you want to see a video on that, let me know. Leave a comment below. Smells good. I wonder if we'll have a cool circle dark slide on it. That'd be really cool. Or like a printed type thing, you know? No, we didn't do a special one. It's just the regular old Pink Floyd album cover, Dark Side of the Moon. It's a prism, I know. Let's get to shooting. Always pick up your trash too before you start. Be kind. And rewind? You know what I'm saying. There we go, kind of, it's out of focus, whatever. A little blown out too. Shoot. Here we go, this is the first one. 
Oh wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> so there was this superstition at my high school. In this hallway, this particular Hudson's Bay High School emblem, uh, I guess that is what you would call it. You never walked on that, you avoided it. If you walked down this hallway, you walked around it. If you stood on it, bad luck, and you're cursed for the rest of your life. And there was all these rumors that you'd fall through the floor. Not sure why or when that started, but you never walked on that, ever. front of the school. I would love to shoot this, but I think it might be too dark in there. Let's find out. Let's try. I don't know. All right. So next stop, I think I'm going to head back to where my park, move my car into the spot that I parked my car in high school <laughs> yeah but the last one i just took of the car it's a little overexposed i kind of want to reshoot it but i don't know maybe not maybe not i still have a couple shots left um i i do want to finish them off here but i don't know exactly where or what else i could shoot Oh, I can go out to the football field. Maybe I'll take a picture on the football field. Let's go. So the field looks nothing like from when I was here. Um, and I've known that for a little bit. I watched some new construction to this a couple years ago. When I played in my day, I played foosball on the grass field, real grass. Well, now they got like this fake, the fake stuff or AKA the better stuff. It's a little more cushion for when you fall. It has those chopped up tires inside of it. Yeah, let's check this out. Oh man, just stepping on a field like this, because I, mean, I used to play football on other fields that were like this. The smell <sighs> takes me back. All right, just popped off the last shot. I just took a selfie, why not? Or I should call it, because this is what it looks like, Facebook profile photo, but on a Polaroid. <laughs> That's what it looks like, right? So that was the last shot like I just said, so I'm headed back to the car and let's regroup. All right, we're back. Oh my gosh, this stuff was really fun to shoot. I, I thought it was gonna be more of a gimmick. Um, it, it's just a circle. <laughs> and I mean, it kind of is. It's not like it's special formula of any kind. It's literally just a circle, you know, over the regular Polaroid picture. You lose picture. But it's actually pretty fun. I'll give it that. It's really, really fun to shoot. Now I've noticed there's one particular style of shooting with this that this really, really shines in. And that is the portraits, AKA the Facebook profile photo. <laughs> you know, the circle looks like a thing. Anyway, I think it's funny, but it really shines in that regard. Portraits are really cool. Now on the way home, I shot a couple more. I was random, I saw some fun stops. And I found the dinosaur from the Sinclair gas stations. It's the dino guy. Uh, I didn't expose it right. Thought I did. So he's a little dark, but it's still kind of a cool picture. And I also stopped at a dead end sign. It's did the same thing. There is one that came out mwah, so, so good. Uh, for all you Army of Darkness fans out there, this one's for you. Shop smart. S, S smart. Shop smart, shop S smart. Close enough. <laughs> so this is the first summer I've had with the Polaroid sonar that's been converted for 600. I'm noticing that it's just, it overexposes, so I have to keep that in mind uh, while I shoot all my other stuff. Because there's a few in here that definitely is a little overexposed. I could have dialed that back and gotten in a much better photo. But that's not the photo's fault, so not really talking about that, but I think this is really fun. Now, um, a few things that I learned while shooting this is you have to compensate just slightly while you are framing and taking your photos, and that is to make sure your subject is dead center of your picture. Dead center, and maybe even 
step back a little bit when you take the shot. That way you still make sure you got some room in here. There is one thing I wanna try before I wrap up and that is to put these frames in the Polaroid lab. I know it's not designed for it. This, is, this just reminds me of like 360 photos, you know, like tiny planets. But tiny planets wouldn't really make sense here because then it would be a little circle of a planet with you know, the subjects. But there is one particular style of 360 photos that I love shooting over tiny planets. I don't know if there's a name for it. I always call it the rabbit hole. Uh, it's where you take it and you invert it to where it looks like you're looking in. It's like a cylinder, a little, like a hole. And I think that would look really cool with the circle frame. So I want to try that. But... If you want to see the results of that, head on over to my Instagram and, you know, go check it out. Give it a like. See if it worked. If it didn't work, I'll still make a post about it. And while you're over there, maybe give me a follow because I'm actually going to be giving away one of these packs to you guys. Yeah. If you want to win one of these packs, it's super simple. All you have to do to enter is just comment on one of the round frame photos that I post. Probably have a couple of them up there already. So go comment on one of those and I will pick a random winner. No, no, next week, a couple weeks from now, I'll make a post over there with the full details. So consider checking out if I win this pack. So will you be picking up any of these? I know they're actually sold out at the date of the recording of this video, but there's more on the way. I was lucky enough to get one of the first badges. Whew. Super casual too. I was just went on and happened to see that there was new stock. Well, look at that, bought it, no problem whatsoever. Apparently they sold out in like an hour or two or some crazy thing like that pretty cool that I was able to get in on it really fast <laughs> but are you gonna pick some of these up when they do come back in stock let me know in the comments if you plan on picking up some for yourself and if you want to join the monthly print club which I still haven't announced yet officially <laughs> I need to do that you know in the coming days the official announcement video but if you guys want to uh, get in on this the first one goes out this month so if you want to join in on that there's a link in the description below they'll be signed they're gonna have a little blurb about the photo a little behind the scenes action how i took it what camera i used maybe little fun facts you know just about the photo look pretty fun uh like i said the first one goes out this month thank you so much for watching and yeah i'll see you in the next one now get out there make some art <laughs>